Good morning. Good morning. morning. So I have Ryan Ingram and Rita Peterson, and they are co-teaching in Science Explorations. It's a ninth grade class, and it's um, exposing students to a variety of topics so they can make a better decision on their schedules for what interests them. So Rita, um, what was your initial reaction to co-teaching? Uh, really positive. I was excited to get the chance to co-teach uh, for the second time this year. Uh, I was nervous about science uh, because it's not a subject I know well, but uh, there's a real need for support at the ninth grade science level, and so the um, opportunity to co-teach with Mr. Ingram in science explorations was something I was excited about. How about you, Mr. Ingram? Um, similar, like just having a different perspective. It was really exciting to me, um, especially when I heard it was Rita with all her experience in better reaching all students um, and just having another set of eyes and it's, it's really paid off. It's been great. Great. What are some of the um, positive effects of having an extra teacher in the classroom? I think it's four sets of eyes on kids. So when someone's teaching, the other one of us is always wandering around, is able to even if you're not walking around, you're able to just keep your eyes on all the kids because the other person's up there teaching. I think another positive is that there's an extra person in the room to be helping helping students at all times. And so uh, when kids are actively working, there's two of us walking around, uh, we're able to help more kids more of the time. Mr. Ingram, have you noticed that um, grades have improved? I think so, definitely. Um, we, freshmen, I mean, we all know they, have other things and getting used to high school socially and don't want to always work hard and and just I think despite that they know we're gonna be on them because we're always there we're always moving around um, we're able to like play off each other a little bit in terms of keeping it fun and enjoyable and welcoming but then they know they're expected to work and we're on them right away so they're they're doing their work despite some of their <laughs> their desires not to work but um, it's, yeah, their grades, I think, are, are improving. So we've got um, initial um, reaction. We have the pros. Are there any um, negative um, side effects to co-teaching? I don't, I don't think there are any negative side effects at all. I think there are some things that are challenging about it. Um, Mr. Ingram and I are both coaches and we're busy, and so we've got co-planning, um, but that's still something that's sometimes hard to connect on. Um, I think another challenge is, uh, you know, for myself or any anybody that's coming in that's not the content teacher, is just getting the content down enough that you're confident and comfortable talking about it. Um, but I can screw it up, and it's not a big deal. Uh, Mr. Ingram's able to make the to make the correction, and um, we both are trying new things. Uh, and so I don't think it's a negative. I just think it's a challenge, and I don't think it's even a a bad challenge. Um, it's really a positive for me to not know like the students so that if I'm struggling with what he's teaching there's a real big chance that one-third of the kids are also struggling with it. The other two-thirds they probably got it but if, I, if I'm not getting it then the kids aren't getting it and that's that's a bonus because I know that I'm like hmm how does that work? So uh, I don't even it's a challenge but it's not even a negative at all it's just it is the way it is and it shouldn't stop people from co-teaching it's it can be helpful in times too. Ms. Stringham, do you have anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I just, I think in the classroom there's not a, a lot of challenges as long as you set up the classroom with the expectation like, hey, making mistakes is okay. It's good for students to know that in life. Some of them are really hard on themselves. We model it all the time and that's okay. And we get better and better the more we do this. I'd say outside there's some challenges in terms of like, you know, figuring out scheduling and finances towards like co-teaching, but that's, that's not in the classroom. So. That's an administrative. Yeah, it's yeah. administrative. Well, I appreciate you guys taking the time to share, and hopefully this helps um, others who are looking into it. Thank you. Thanks.